My name is Tyler Masters. I'm the Director of Application Development for ViaWest. My name is Richard Bogan. I'm the Director of Process Engineering for ViaWest. My name is Matthew Taylor. I'm the Vice President of ITIS and Managed Services for ViaWest. ViaWest is the largest privately held co-location managed service company in the nation. We offer co-location solutions to our customers as well as managed services on top of those co-locations. ViaWest has 16 data centers on the western side of the United States with thousands of customers in those data centers, uh, again providing everything from co-location to hosting uh, where we're providing power, space, uh, dedicated servers or, uh, or server or just general server management. One of the problems was uh, getting out of the need to have to do manual reports via Excel, do those manually and be dependent on um, individuals to deliver those ports and manipulate them on a daily basis. We couldn't easily tell uh, things like where our revenue was, was physically located, where our customers were on any consistent kind of basis. It was always a query to IT that had to develop their SQL query to actually pull out the information. So it wasn't a repeatable or sustainable process. And it certainly wasn't something that we could share with the entire organization. We didn't have a business intelligence or reporting solution that brought together all the systems as well as all the information that we had. Uh, we did have reporting solutions coming out of multiple systems, but we needed to bring that all together where we could do comparison and combination between those, the different systems that were out there. Uh, so we did a search to try to find a good business intelligence partner that could come in and help us develop that data warehouse solution. Um, the primary purpose of it was for us to understand better how is our power being, being utilized in our different data centers, where are our customers, what kind of products are our customers buying the most by region, by data center, um, really just understanding the business better so that we can make sure that we're providing our customers the best service possible. We develop the requirements of these are the reports we need, this is the information we need, this is how we need to have it calculated, this is the information that uh, we want to derive in a series of reports. We met with the Catapult team, they were able to quickly absorb it, they understood it, they added on to it, the, uh, they added value into maybe you want to look at this metric as well. And then as we went through the project, we uh, touched base with them regularly. They would show us their, uh, their progress. They'd show them what data they had pulled over. And so it was a very good and uh, close, uh, close working relationship. The long-term uh, vision for our BI solution is to expand on the data that we're capturing and deliver that through um, the Microsoft platform, both in terms of analysis services, reporting services, and eventually into uh, more sophisticated dashboards, um, so an end-to-end -end solution that accompanies both operational and financial reporting. People are now able to answer questions themselves instead of uh, looking for answers and build solutions based on information as opposed to their, their gut. Uh, that's from the, the intelligence of just being able to get a hold of data, look at it, and, and make decisions. On a real-time basis, it impacted service delivery. The ability to look at uh, all the information. Any point in time, we have something like 4,000 tickets open within operations trying to manage the delivery of customer services. To be able to absorb 4,000 pieces of information in a meaningful fashion uh, is very difficult. The data warehouse now allows us to do that and for those operations people to be able to manage the customer experience much better than they were before. Catapult delivered some very specific expertise. One, they had a defined methodology, the Microsoft methodology, so they knew what they were going to do. Uh, they knew how to approach the problem and, and uh, tackle it. The second, as I interfaced with the team, is they were very good at project management. They knew where they were supposed to be, they knew what they were supposed to be delivering on, they knew where they were at any point in time and I could ask them specifically those questions that they could ask them. Second, and then the third, I guess, is they were problem solvers. They didn't just come in and say, okay, we have a problem. They were like, we see the problem, we've figured out a way to get around that problem and, and still deliver a solution. And even after delivery, they were still there for us as we, as we had continued to have questions and, and they were able to help us. Uh, by implementing this project, we're now able to continue that growth model. Uh, I've been here for approximately four years now. We've grown from 20 million to 100 million in those four years. 
So we've gone through a significant amount of growth uh, and making sure that we understand our data and understand our products and are able to cross-reference our system, which is what this, this business intelligence tool is doing for us, will allow us to continue this kind of growth. We're already seeing opportunities in areas that we need to expand, uh, and that's really very much because of the system and the data that we're able to pull out of the system. We're also able to implement for our customers uh, significantly better than we did in the past. In the past, it may have taken us uh, 10 days for one specific uh, product to come up and running, and now we're able to do that in about half that time. It takes about five days because we're able to understand where the bottlenecks are and eliminate those bottlenecks. So there really are significant advantages both overall from a company standpoint as well as specific down to the customers in a way that we're able to save them time uh, and therefore money.